Hi, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to install and configure Nextcloud on Ubuntu 22.04 LTS. This will be a fast and easy install. Hopefully, we can complete the setup within five to six minutes. Nextcloud is a web application with a database in background. So during the installation, we will be configuring a web server and a database server also. Nextcloud mostly written in PHP. So we need to install the required PHP modules. And as the web server, we can use either Apache or Nginx. Both web server will work just fine. On this installation, we'll be using Apache. Regarding the web server configurations, I'm not going to modify the Apache's default site configurations because default Apache configurations are okay for the installation. Nextcloud installation is very easy, but considering the performance and the securities, we need to do some additional configurations that I will elaborately show you on some other videos. On the upcoming videos, I'm going to show you Nextcloud's other various installation methods like CLI installation, auto installation through script, installing on web panels like cPanel, ISP Config ETC with the Nextcloud web installer. I'll show you in details. So with that, let's get started. I'm following the Nextcloud setup guide published on my website. This is a step-by-step -step guide to install the Nextcloud quickly on Ubuntu 22.04 LTS. So you can follow the steps as is. I have rented a VPS from the Valter and it has the configuration of 4V CPU with the 8GB RAM. I'll be using the same VPS for further demonstrations. I have uh, logged into my system. Let's check the host name. And the FQDN. Let's see the IP if config. Okay. So let's just follow the documents. First of all, it says the APT update and upgrade the system. That is a very good practice. Let's do this. It says all packages are up to date. We have nothing to upgrade here. Now on the second stage, install Apache and MySQL server. Newer kernel available. Okay, which service should be started? Nothing. Let's install the PHP and other dependencies. Okay. Enable the required modules on the Apache and we need to restart the Apache after that. Okay, now configure MySQL server, just type MySQL. And if you want to use the password I'm providing here, you should change it, but you can use this one for first time test. Let's copy and paste as is. So what I'm doing here, we are creating Nextcloud user identified by the password and create database Nextcloud with the character set. And we are granting the privileges to the database, the full privileges for the Nextcloud user. This is the MySQL minimalistic requirement for the Nextcloud setup. Now download and install Nextcloud. We can go to the Nextcloud download page. From there, we can download the archive or the zip file. 
this is the archive file or we can directly download from this link let's go to the web root it's about 150 meg now unzip let's remove the index and let us zip file move to the next cloud directory and we can move everything from here to one step back we can execute this command so all moved back so we are using var html as the next cloud root directory we are not using the next cloud directory we can safely remove the next cloud directory now change the ownership of the next cloud on the ubuntu apache runs with the user ww data so we have to give the permission to the var html so this is it now it says they go to the browser and type the fqdn then the web installer will pop up if everything okay we should see the installation page now you can see the installation page appears so here we have to create the admin account and it shows the data folder and we have to provide the database credentials here let's set the username as the admin and as the password i'm giving a normal password okay database user and everything is mentioned here this is the password and database user is next cloud and the database name also next cloud so database user is next cloud this is the db password and database name will be next cloud and server is localhost it's okay now click the install now you can see the installation is almost done it is loading the recommended apps so this is not mandatory we can safely cancel this part So the initial setup page appears. We can safely skip this also. Start using Nextcloud. And it says the good afternoon. So our setup is completed. We have some post installation steps. We need to improve its performance from the default installation and provide better security for our document safety. So on the next video, I will install the next cloud from the scratch and I will provide the memory caching, SSL installation and other things. That will be a complete setup. I'll request you to see the next video. I'll be more details on the installation. So this is it for today. Thank you for being with me. If you still didn't subscribe to my channel, please subscribe. It will encourage me a lot to create more videos for you. So thank you. Bye.